what role do you think online tools play in scientific collaboration? When you say collaboration, you mean people with other people? Yes. Um, so I think that they facilitate um, constructing of documents uh, collaboratively. You know, I think that um, so things like Mendeley and things like Zotero allow people to kind of collaboratively search the space of possible literature and, and collate things together. I think that um, shared collective uh, document platforms like Google Docs and, and others um, allow people to, to simultaneously um, edit. Um, so I think these things, uh, I mean, that's one of the roles that they play. Um, I think, um, you know, uh, so uh, are th we're talking about the full range of possible online tools here. The full range, but you can also specify. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so, so I, think, I think in searching, it allows um, things to be collaboratively updated. You know, you can collaboratively edit. Um, and I think that um, I would say, you know, publication platforms, um, especially open source publication platforms where things, um, you know, kind of more rapidly get out into the community, especially plus one style publishing, where essentially it's, you know, you're, you're looking to excise things that are technically incompetent, but there's, um, they're waiting for the post-publication review to make final assessments about the relative importance of a piece. That's not the thing at which publications are filtered. So I think that gets more ideas and more negative knowledge um, out into the space and, and further facilitates more collaboration because you've got less thing, things being filtered um, than would otherwise uh, be filtered because it's, they're filtered only on the techniques of the, of the research production. So I think, um, and I think that generates more activity and more information online about things that people are doing or have the capacities to do. Um, so I think I, I think it, it's it's uh, I think one can also imagine the kind of m you know more of the market clearing people finding people that are further from um, their uh, social base in the in the same way that I think demonstrably. I mean, I have some research that shows that people certainly can find um, concepts and ideas that are further from their space. They can integrate them as a function of the network. So I, I, think, um, it's, um, I think it's entirely possible that people will be able to reach out further as well. Um, I would say, uh, let me make a caveat to that. So it, it turns out that another thing that collaborative tools do is it makes it um, it makes it easier for people to retain relationships. So it's much more likely now that, um, let's say a professor has a student and the student moves off to some other university that's maybe at a different status or at a different location, it's more likely that those relationships will retain. Um, so there's a number of uh, scientific pieces which demonstrate that. And so insofar as that, that that's pushing the other direction, right? So the fact that all this in, more information is available about more people online means that people can search further. But if more of the connections that they've lost, re, they retain as connections, um, then, then in some sense the dance card is full. Uh, and so it might mean that there are fewer new people that they're searching for. Um, so I think this, this kind of, this two kind of competing forces, right? It allows you to retain connections which decreases your likelihood for, to, to look for or be able to absorb a new connection, but it increases your ability to, to seek out and, and attain a new connection if you wanted one.